Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How are you? I am doing a love reading real quick, okay? So we are going to take a look at your energy and the energy of the person that you think of when I say love, okay? If you have no one that you think of when I say love, then just click off the video, okay? And just go to Patreon at this point because this is my second video for Virgo for today. So I am doing a love reading, okay? So Spirit, give me the energy for Virgo when it comes to love. And I'm going to do Virgo singles. Okay, so if you... Now, as a matter of fact, we'll just do... Because I feel like the energy could be different. So let's just do for those of you... I guess Twin Flame or you have someone. Because I said that at the beginning. So I can't make my mind up. <laughs> let's just see. So Virgo, it looks like you feel alone. I'm not sure if you are in a relationship or not. Okay, but I see that you feel alone, Virgo. I see that you feel like you're by yourself. Again, you feel like when it comes to love, maybe you feel like you haven't been able to find exactly what you need. It seems like you feel like you have been up and down. It's almost like you feel like it's been a test of your strength, a test of your patience. Again, it just looks like you feel like you've had to make some difficult decisions. Or again, it's like you've had to do some things that you really didn't want to do. You know, you've had to do some things that again, it just seems like, you know, it was either them or you. You know what I mean? So it's like, I see that it hasn't been easy. I see that it has been difficult. And maybe you feel like you haven't been able to quite find the love that you want, the love that you deserve. It just seems like you feel like it's been up and down. You know, I do see that you may feel like in a way it's changed you. So it's like maybe what you were looking for in a relationship before you're not looking for now, or maybe your needs have changed. Your desires have changed. Maybe the things you wanted before you don't want anymore. You know, maybe you feel like you've grown and there are different things that you're looking for or different things that are important to you in this present time okay i do see that virgo you're also holding back again like i said i'm not sure if you're not putting yourself out there or again if you know you just feel like you're just waiting for the love to come you know it's like maybe you feel like you're just focusing on you that's what it looks like i see you healing i see you focusing on yourself i also see that virgo when it comes to love it's like you are healing like i said it's like i'm not sure what happened before but it's like maybe you feel like you invested your energy and time into shit that wasn't worth it you know and so now i see you kind of being a bit more discerning about who you are allowed to come your way and what you accept okay because before it just seems like there was some things that maybe you would have dealt with or maybe you would have accepted but now it just seems like you're a lot more picky okay virgo so again like i said it's like you're just recovering you know what i'm saying you're healing you're moving forward i do see you having to listen to your judgment okay when it comes to a particular relationship i see you having to go within i'm not sure if you're in a relationship virgo but maybe the people around you like this person or again maybe you feel tempted i don't know that judgment card maybe you feel tempted to uh, maybe like get some advice or listen to someone else i don't know virgo but i see that you had to trust your judgment you had to trust what you feel and let's see what your intuition is telling you because with this judgment card i see that you already have some type of decision that or some type of way that you feel and maybe you don't know if you should listen to this you should ignore it when it comes to this person but it seems like you've had to overcome some things by yourself it seems like you've had to heal by yourself there could be something telling you not to take action towards this person or to leave them alone you know what i mean and when i say leave them alone it's like just let them be you know like don't you know engage when they call or text it's like maybe you feel like you want to be left alone i'm just getting this energy where i don't see you taking action towards this person i don't i don't know if they're calling texting popping up i don't know but i don't see you putting any energy into to it and maybe that's what your intuition is telling you to do the king of wands reversed to go in a different direction maybe you feel like you're tired of fighting for something virgo maybe you feel like it's just best if you walk away okay because i see that you feel like your happiness is important and i'm not sure if you feel like someone brings you happiness or not but it does seem that you feel that your happiness is very important right but it seems or maybe you feel that you can have happiness with this person and then on the same on the other end it kind of seems like you feel like but they have betrayed me but they have disappointed me so it seems like you could have a 
difficult time trying to figure out, like, should I forgive someone? Should I let them back in? Do I let them close to me? But again, it seems like a part of your intuition is telling you no. It seems like it's 50-50, to be honest with you, Virgo. Because again, like I said, you have that King of Wands, which indicates that you don't really know if you're ready to put that energy in. It's like you don't really know if you're wanting to fight for this because there's been pain. Or it seems like you feel like you've done that already and you're trying to recover. seems like you feel like you've done that already and you're ready to move forward. It's like you're ready for real happiness or you're ready for real love or you're tired of waiting. You know, it's like maybe you're in a relationship and maybe you want to get married. You know, and you're like maybe you're dealing with someone who doesn't want to get married. You know, so it just seems like you kind of know what you want. But there has been this cycle, Virgo, that you felt like you've been caught up in with this person. Maybe you feel like they played a lot of games. What's the cycle spirit? Because it seems like you could feel like they played a lot of games. There was a lot of back and forth. Yeah, so it just seems like, yeah, so the cycle was that maybe you think clearly at one point where it's like you feel like you're not going to settle, but then something makes you feel like you're settling. So I don't know, Virgo, if some someone like comes in and they gaslight you, they say all of the right things, do all of the right things. But then when it comes to actually like manifesting or making this happen, it just seems like they fall short. So it seems like every time someone could leave you high and dry or they leave you thinking, they leave you feeling uncertain, they leave you feeling unsure, not necessarily sure if you should not necessarily sure if you shouldn't so again Virgo it just seems like you kind of feel like you're tired you know it's like you have gotten tired of something it's like you feel like you're ready to move forward it's like you're gaining back your confidence not sure if this past relationship knocked your confidence but I see that it's like you are working hard to get back to that side of you that feels good working hard to get back to that side of you that does bring you peace that does bring you happiness because it's like this could have been something that has been going on for a long time. I'm getting five to ten years for some of you, maybe five to ten months for others of you. Okay, but I see that this is something that you may feel like you've been wrapped up in for a minute. And so now it's like you've had to make a decision about how you're wanting to move forward, about what this looks like for you. Okay, and Virgo, when it comes to this person, they seem to be up and down. Okay, I don't know. This person seems to have a hard time committing. Okay, the thing about it is I don't see any third party energy, Virgo. They have the three of cups reversed. So it, there could have been third party energy at one point or other people intruding in on this relationship. But I don't see that now. It just looks like for some reason this person still feels unsure. And I don't know if it's because you guys haven't been communicating or you don't talk to this person, but someone kind of feels unsure, Virgo, with that hangman reverse. Yeah, there's no answer, no response, which makes me feel like you're not responding to them. Yeah, it's like you're not responding to them. So now, Virgo, someone is heartbroken. Yeah, again, that three of swords, someone is in pain. I don't know exactly if they're crying or they're upset but Virgo someone's chest is hurting someone's chest is motherfucking tight and why is it tight because look what they were going doing they know why Virgo whatever this is this person seems to be very cognizant and very aware of exactly what the problem is of exactly what the issue is they have three 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 okay they have all of the energy of working together is versed so now this person could realize that they played a lot of games they could realize all the pain all the hurt that they have caused you that's what it's looking like it looks like virgo now someone sees now it almost feels like they they see it when it's too late that three of pentacles indicates working together with other people having a good time teamwork making a dream work having their cake and eating it too but now someone's not laughing so much it's not fun anymore the three of swords indicates that they are hurting they're like why the hell did i do this to virgo what the hell is wrong with me what was i thinking i'm an idiot yeah, someone literally feels like they're an idiot, Virgo. Mm-hmm. I don't know if someone pretends like everything is okay, but Virgo, I'm telling you, behind the scenes, it's not peaches and cream. Look, they want to run back to you, Virgo. They want to amend things. They want to fix things. Spirit, why does this person want to fix things with Virgo? <clears throat> because they're unstable without you. 
Because without you, Virgo, they feel like they have nothing. I'm hearing Robin Thicke, lost without you. They literally feel like they're lost without you. They are the queen of pentacles reversed without you. It's almost like they need you to be able to move forward. And I'm not trying to toot your horn, Virgo. I'm not trying to like just say it because it's your reading. I swear on my life, the three of wands talks about moving forward. The queen of pentacles, they need you. Yeah, they don't feel that stability. They don't feel that balance. They don't feel that happiness. They're like, I need Virgo. I need Virgo to be able to move forward. I need Virgo. You are someone's true happiness happiness yeah but see they played a lot of games someone was very childish virgo someone was very immature and now they realize the effects of it yeah that page of cups they feel you is what i'm hearing you are their happiness that ten of cups but they played a lot of games someone could feel like they jeopardized the whole family the whole relationship they could have already had a family virgo didn't tell you i don't know but again like i said it just seems like someone feels like they messed up the family virgo they feel like they can't get through to you they feel like you don't want to be bothered you're not answering you block them you don't want no damn form of communication yeah, they feel like they can't get through to you. It's like they don't even know how to approach you. They're thinking of a way. Look, trying to think of a way to make their way back in. But they're like, I don't know how. Now they're looking like, oh my goodness, Virgo knows everything. That seven of swords secrets done came out. Mm-hmm. Or maybe this person wants to come clean. Let's see. Did the secrets come out? Or does this person want to come clean? The secrets coming out. If they didn't already, Virgo, I don't know what you heard, so a witness, but according to spirit, the secrets came out, and this person disappointed you. Mm -hmm. And so when the secrets came out, that's when it became self-love, self-care for you. Looks like you stopped putting your energy into it. This person blames themselves. They know that they are the reason. They do. But like I said, it does look like someone wants to amend things with you. They want to fix things with you. But Virgo, it seems to be a test of your strength. It seems to be a test of your patience. And for you, it looks like you are the hierophant. It looks like you are elevating. You truly want more. You're truly longing for more. Truly working to be the better version of yourself. Working to have it all. So it's like you want someone who you can trust. You want someone that is on that level with you. Again, you want someone that it's like you don't have to worry about trusting or you know money just certain things it's like you just want a smooth sale and so i see you using higher level energy to be able to move forward you're wanting a higher level commitment virgo you do want love but it looks like you don't want just any love and you're not willing to settle for just anything so it's like they gotta come correct and if not then there you go back to the strength card with being alone and waiting and so you feel like it's the right thing but virgo i do see that you have options spirit is about to send several options your way I don't even know if it's this person. Is it this person's spirit that we are referring to? If it's this person, please give me a card of right. If it's not this person, give me a card of the reverse. It's not this person. Okay, you have the justice card reversed. That's not this person. Two cards reversed. Not this person. Three cards reversed. Not this person. Four cards reversed. Not this person. Five cards reversed. Okay, spirit, I feel like we got it. It ain't this person. But I see you have options, Virgo. Yes, I see you have options. I see you have about four or five people that are interested in you or will be interested in you that want to get to know you. I do see you only like really liking one or talking to one. But I do see that you have options. It seems that you feel like with whatever this is or whomever this is in the past, you feel like it won't change. You feel like someone is stuck in their ways. You feel like they're still playing games with you or you feel like they're not being honest and open about everything. And maybe you feel like you want a clean slate to be able to move forward. It's like you just feel like they're always going to be on that same bullshit. So spirit, what's the outcome for Virgo? Because Virgo was like, you don't have time. You don't have time at all. So the outcome, Virgo, is that there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of uncertainty. You may have felt like you had to wait for certain things, but I'm getting an overflow. Okay, I'm getting an overflow of things coming your way. You're going to have an overflow of money, an overflow of love. I see that there could be uh, someone coming your way or someone that you meet, Virgo, and I see that they want to do nothing but give to you. It's like you may be a little taken back, like, damn, why you want to keep doing this for me? Like, why are you so nice? But Virgo, don't even say nothing. Just let them do it. It's like spirit is sending all the blessings that you didn't get before. For all the things you wanted yeah you're turning your back to something virgo you are turning your back and you're moving forward mm -hmm. turning your back and focusing on what brings you fulfillment i can't make it up 
turning your back with that Knight of Cups. Yes, I see you turning your back. I see you not really wanting to be bothered. More so looking for a clean slate or a rebirth, a new beginning. And it is coming. Spirit, does Virgo have new love? Yep. You may actually have someone new, Virgo, and then this person too. I see that some of you may have two people. Mm -hmm. The two of swords is definitely two options. Yes. One of these people will be like more focused on money, a bit more flashy, a bit more uh, uh, into like the finer things. But that may turn you off a bit because you may feel like that's all it's about with them. Okay. But yes, you definitely have new love. I see you'll have to pick who you want. Okay. And with that being said, Virgo, I'm out. Thank you for watching and I appreciate your support. Be safe. Take care and God bless.